Hi, third grade. Today we're going to go ahead and start unit 11 of foundations. Unit 11 is two week unit. So let's get started. A, apple, a. Ah. E, ed, eh. I, itch, i. Eh. O, octopus, ah. U, up, a. Uh. C, h, chin, ch. S, h, ship, sh. T, h, thumb, th. C, k, sock, k. And T, c, h, catch, ch. Nice job. Now let's go ahead and listen to our new concept of the day. Hi friends, I'm Mrs. Keogh and I'm a literacy specialist with Wilson Language Training. Today, we are gonna work on unit 11, week one, day one. We're gonna be learning about contractions this unit. Let's go ahead and get started. I am going to write this word on a syllable frame and I want you to look at it. Do you see that word? All right, now watch what I'm going to do. Take a look at that. What does this word say? Does. What does this word say? Not. So I could say maybe Mrs. Keogh does not like getting up early in the morning. Does that mean I like it? <laughs> no, it means that I don't. Now, sometimes we can push these words together and that will make a contraction. So watch what happens when I push these words together. I'll explain it as I'm doing it. So I've got my word does, I'm gonna leave that word low, but I've got my word not. So I'm gonna squeeze this N over here, but I'm gonna get rid of this O, and I still have my T, but in place of that O, I'm gonna use my blank vowel card, and I'm going to make, an apostrophe. So the apostrophe is now taking place of that O that way away, and then I can squeeze this together. So now the word says doesn't. So this is now the word doesn't. Sometimes it sounds better when you're talking or chatting with somebody or writing something to put these two words together. So it's easier and quicker to say um, when it is shortened. So I could say the dog does not like to run or the dog doesn't like to run. So that's what I do when I push those together. So just remember that the O was replaced with the apostrophe. That takes the place of it. And so there is no vowel sound <laughs> in that part. It's just not doesn't. So when a word is shortened like this, we call it a contraction. All right, so watch what I do now. So I did that with does doesn't. Let's go ahead. Read that word. What does that say? Should. So I can bring this down. Keep that space there. All right, so now read these two words. Should not. You should not run in the hall. So what if I want to make it a contraction? What do I do? I scoot this N over drop that O, have to replace it with, that's right, the apostrophe, and bring that T over. And now I have the word shouldn't. You shouldn't run in the hallway. Do you see how we're doing that to make the contractions? Let's try another one. You're going to tell me what to do. Okay. So. All right, what is this word? Would not but i want to make a contraction so what do i do that's right i scoot the n over drop that o replace it with the apostrophe and bring over the t now i have the word wouldn't i would not like to run around the field or i wouldn't like to run around the field <laughs> can you think of a sentence with wouldn't Use that sentence with a friend. Use the word would not, and then use the word wouldn't while I get ready for the next word. Do 
Did you do it? Good work. I hope you did. All right, let's read what's next. Could not. I could not get my shoes on this morning. Or I could not find my shoes to put them on. <laughs> I want to make a contraction. Tell me what to do. That's right. Scoot over that M. Drop that O. Replace it with an apostrophe. Scoot over the T. And now I have the word couldn't. I couldn't find my shoes. All right, so hopefully you have your notebook now. So now I'm going to show you where to go in your notebook. Because remember, this is a handy tool for you whenever you need to find something. So if you open up your student notebook, and we're going to go to right up here, spelling rules, pages. But if I go to page, you can't see that. Let me see. Page 40. There it is, page 40. Now I'll put it down. You can see that this is called making contractions. So if you read this here, it says identify the two words you are putting together, which we were doing together, right? And then take the letters away from the second word, never the first. Remember I did that? I said I'm not going to touch the first word. We're only going to move letters around in that second word and then put the apostrophe in place of the missing letter or letters so here we have the the word not and so we're going to contract it or we're going to make it smaller we're going to take away the o so the word is not which we haven't done yet we're going to do in a little bit i'm going to take away that o i keep that first word just the same and then i squeeze over that n I take away the O so that I have to replace it with my apostrophe, and then I use my T. So is not becomes isn't. And so if you have questions about how to make a contraction, you go to page 40 and you can check it here. And it'll give you all of the options. It'll give you the two words that it used to be and then the word that it turned into. So now I'm gonna show you this word. Whoops. Okay, read that word, what. Okay, so now I am going to put another word on here. What is this word? Is. Okay, so now I have the words what is, but I want to make a contraction. So let's see if it works doing the same routine that I did before. So I am going to get rid of this sound because I don't need it. But what am I going to replace it with? That's right. I have to replace. I'm not going to touch this first word. I'm just going to do the second word. So I'm going to replace it with my apostrophe. Then I'm going to scoot over my S. And so now what's the word? What's? I used it in a sentence. What's the word? The word is what's. So again, the I, in this case, in this word, the I was replaced with the apostrophe to make that word into a contraction. All right, so I could say, what is your name? Or I could say, what's your name? So you can use either one. So again, that I is replaced. So let's try another word. What's this word? Here. Is. So I've got here is. What do I do if I want to make a contraction? I have to replace that I with the apostrophe. I'm going to squeeze it close to the word here and scooch this over. And now what is the word? Here's. So when you say here's, it's, it's not like I important here's a who or like that. It's here's, here's your pen. Here is your pen. I can say here's your pen and then I can give you your pen. So always be thinking about what word it is that you're saying. But now we're going to look at page 41. So we looked at this page. Now we're looking over here because, I don't know if you can see that. Let me move this up a little bit. You can see we've got is. And then I apostrophe s. So that I is kind of gray, meaning it's gone. <laughs> so it's not there. So when you look at this page, that's what you're going to be looking at. So again, 
you're going to be looking up here and it's going to tell you. So if that letter is gray, it's gone. So then you've just got your apostrophe S. All right. So go ahead and get your dry erase board and your dry erase marker and your eraser. I'm getting mine ready. And let's get ready to practice this. So since you're using your dry erase board, I'm going to use mine too. See a shadow there. Let me see. There, that's better. All right, so let's use this. So we are going to write some words and we're going to think about how we're going to replace the letter or letters that we are needing to, to move out of the way so that we can have our apostrophe. Okay, so let me write. Let's practice. Just tell me again. So if I have this for you ready, just watch me on this one. All right, so say this, does not. So I know I don't do anything with the first word, so I'm going to bring that word down here. But how am I going to make this into a contraction? Do you remember what I do? What do I do? That's right. I'm going to change this O. I'm going to replace it with an apostrophe. So now I'm going to bring this in right next to this word, drop off that O, make it an apostrophe, bring down my T. <laughs> now what do I have? Doesn't. That was pretty easy. Once you know the pattern of what you're looking for and what you're doing, it'll be easy. So let's do one together. Use this. All right. So I'm going to say a word, and there were two words, and then we're going to talk about how we're going to change those into a contraction. Are you ready? Here we go. Should not. So let's go ahead and write those two words on this first line. Should, and this is a trick word that you should already know. If you don't know it, this would be a good time to learn it. So I've got should not. What do I do with that first word? Nothing. So I can bring that down here. Now all the action takes place with this second word. What do I do with the N? Bring it over here. What do I do with the O? Replace it with an apostrophe. Apostrophe kind of looks like that. It would be above that plane line, in between the plane line and the skyline. And then what do I do with the T? Bring it over. What's my new word? Shouldn't. You shouldn't have any trouble writing the word shouldn't. How, how, how'd you do? You need to pause the video so you can catch up. If I go too fast, you do that. And then just catch up with me on the next word. So if you need to pause, pause it. Otherwise, we're going to move on. Okay, here's the next word. She is. Let's go ahead and write that. She is. What do I do with the first word? Nothing. I just write it. Now, what do I do with the second word? I'm going to get rid of this I and replace it with an apostrophe. Put it right next to this E. What do I do with the S? I bring it over. Now, what does it say? She's. She is a lot of fun. She's a lot of fun. You understanding what we're doing here? I know you do. Let's try another one. Are not. Okay, let's write that. Are not. What do I do with the first word? Yeah, I just write it down here because I'm going to keep that. All the action is over here. What do I do with the N? Bring it down here. What do I do with the O? Take it out, replace it with an apostrophe. What do I do with the T? Just write it. What's it say now? Aren't. We aren't going to have popcorn this afternoon. We are not going to have popcorn this afternoon. We aren't going to have popcorn. It's not going to happen. How'd you do? 
All right, good work, and I'll see you soon. All right, third grade, I want you to keep those dry erase boards out because the last thing we're going to do today is get introduced to two new uppercase cursive letters. The first cursive uppercase letter is Q. So let's sky write first, and then you can practice on your cursive side. Here's uppercase Q. Q is a skyline down letter. It starts on the skyline. Point to the skyline. Go on the skyline, then curve down to the grass line. Make a loop and make a tail. Very good. And the last uppercase cursive letter we're learning today is X. Here we are. Sky right with me first. X is a skyline down letter. It starts on the skyline. Point to the skyline. Go on the skyline, then curve down to the grass line and make a tail. Point to the skyline and leave a space and slide back to the grass line. All right, third grade. Great work. You can practice your Q's and X's, and I will see you next time. Bye.